This is Chris from MyCreativeForum.com, and today we're going to be flashing over a hero. It is going on the $45 plan, so we are going to root it. We're going to put it in uh, debugging mode because we're just going to use or install Z4 root via ADB. Well, actually, we don't have to because this phone's already rooted. But you could use a program like Z4 root uh, to root it. I think we have that in the tutorial. Uh, if it doesn't work uh, first time, uh, just give it a few minutes and then uh, reboot and run Z4 root again once the system's calmed down after the reboot. But since it's rooted already, we'll just go to the dialer, dial pound, pound, three, four, two, four, pound. These are the HTC Diag drivers and ADB they're installing. It says ADB node driver found, but we could fix that by going to our device manager. Updating the driver, browse from, well, let me pick, show all devices, have this. Here's the Android. It's in the uh, Android SDK for Windows available through uh, Google. One thing I am going to install on it is uh, Root Explorer. Pretty much always do that. And we're going to use it to send over the telephony database since I'm using the newer uh, SDK on this one you can execute ADB from any location Make sure this is in, should be plugged in. Okay, it is installed. So let's see what COM port it installed it in. Six, I'm going to put it on 15 because I work with so many phones, I try to keep them on the same ports. We use um, CMA Workshop to connect to it. Might say it doesn't exist because we changed the port. Just reconnect it. Since we're having this problem, we're going to put in another USB port. Right 
You can hit read if you want, it doesn't really matter. Uh, we're going to go to security and hit read. That's the SPC. To make it easier, we're just going to zero it all out. Zero, 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 just like Verizon phones. We'll hit write. And all right, done. We can close this and we don't have to do the mode reset. We'll just go to QPST. There's the phone right there. For some reason this phone's connecting and disconnecting over and over again. Read from phone. There's our new SPC. We're going to go to the CDMA tab and type in the phone number. And then the MIN and the IMSI underscore S. We're going to go to Roam. You don't have to worry about this uh, preferred Roman enable box. It's not going to ungray itself. Select the PRL that we want. Go over to the m.ip settings. Even though it says uh, active user one, we'll just change out. Uh, uh, we'll change out the first two. We'll put in simple IP only. This is going to be phone number at mycricket.com. Went to cricket here. And cricket right there. We'll zero these out. We're gonna do that for the next one too. I pretty much do every profile that has old data on it. Now we're in the PPP config tab under UM. We'll paste the phone number at mycricket.com and then under the tethered NAI, we'll put it there too. Password is required. Cricket, again. Optimize dormant handoff, yes. 1x EDO to 1x. Click that one too and go to the AN button. We'll replace the sprint one with our number at use uh, mycricket.com. The tethered NAI, you won't be able to enter that. Just enter the password cricket and write to phone. At this point, the phone should reboot. I think it has a really bad USB cable here. We have to see if this even wrote to the phone. Let's This leads me to believe that it did indeed flash over. Um, for the $45 plan, we we'll use uh, U2NL, Autostar.sh, and Autostar.apk. This version of uh, Android SDK doesn't allow us to remount uh, into a read-all, uh, read-write status. 
So we're just going to copy these folders over to our uh, these files over to our SD card and copy them over using Root Explorer. But we do want to install uh, Auto Start, ADB install in the location of our Auto Start .apk. It could also be installed from the market, but I don't want to log in on the market and then have to clear it out for this user since it's not my phone. That's installed. Now I'm going to mount the SD card. I'm going to all, find all my files that I need to transfer over there. That's auto start out of sh. U2NL, I'll just put them in the root of the SD card, and there's one more that I needed, the telephony.db, 4096 bytes right there, now we can disconnect the phone. We go to root explorer. Granted super user permission. This is the first time it's run, so it has to be run twice to work properly. We're going to mount everything uh, read writable. Go to our SD card. We'll take the telephony database and copy it. You can back up all this if you want, but I've done this a few times so I'm not really worried. Go to data, data, com.android.providers.telephony Databases and paste it here. 